Hello, my fellow soul gardeners, and welcome now to Astro 103, episode one. We're now in the third class, so to speak, of astrology, teaching on how to read natal charts and transits, etc. And now in 103 series, the next 12 episodes of 103, we're going to talk about forecasting. How do you tell what's going to happen next to a soul? How do I predict when there's going to be turbulence ahead or when there's going to be fortune ahead? It has to do with the placement of the planets out there in accordance to where your natal chart is. And it also has to do with something we call the solar chart. Okay, I'm about to blow your mercury again. We actually have two charts that affect our reality. Two charts. There is a solar chart and there is a natal chart. Okay? The solar chart is based on your state of awareness, based on your sign. So you're a Taurus, or you're a Leo, or you're a Cancer. And we talked about this all the way in Astro 101. If you're a Cancer, your state of awareness centers around your emotions. Your whole life centers around Cancer. If you're a Gemini, your whole state of awareness centers around your intellect and communications. If you're a Taurus, your whole state of awareness is around what you produce and what you make in, in the world. Your state of awareness is what you call reality. It's very apparent and real. And it may be the same or different to the patterns in your whole life. The patterns in your life is your natal chart. It's the history of your soul. And so far, we've been looking at your natal chart and your footprint, what your soul has done up until this lifetime and the direction it's heading into the next lifetime. But the current events, the drama, the state of what seems most aware is your solar chart. This is why the horoscopes can be so accurate for all the Tauruses. Because all the Tauruses are all dealing with the same transits at the same time. How that affects their natal chart is what makes it unique for them. So in a good astrology reading, I look at the solar chart and the natal chart. And the solar chart tells me what's probably most happening right now in their face. The natal chart tells me, well, how does that affect my life so, hard, so far? And is what's going on here in the solar chart the same thing that's always gone in my whole life? Sometimes you have Tauruses dealing with intimacy trouble, and that may be the first time for one Taurus, but it may be a lifelong pattern for someone else because their Pluto's in their natal eighth. So I hope this is making sense. When we plug into reality, we plug in through our sun. So therefore, whatever karma or astrology or natal trans, whatever transits are going on in that sun sign determine the shape of the reality of that person. Then that is compared to their soul's history, which is their natal. So how do we do this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What you do is you run a chart for the planets today. Okay? You run a chart for the planets today. So I have actually Monday's chart right here. I've run Monday's chart. And what I do is I make it, I set it in time so that Aries is at zero degrees rising. So I run a chart for Aries, zero degree rising. Therefore, everything is lined up. And on this particular day, that didn't happen until 12.02 a.m. That's when Aries rose on the horizon in my town. And that basically creates a solar chart for Aries. All right? And you can look at this and run it on your own. If you're a Taurus, you just click it over a notch and you put Taurus on the horizon. If you're a Gemini, you click it over a notch and you put Gemini on the horizon and so on and so forth, okay? That's the solar chart. So you can look at it. Let's look at Aries, for instance. On this particular day, with Aries right now in the Aries solar chart, Uranus and Jupiter are in the first house. Therefore, all Arieses on the planet are going through expansion and innovation in their ego. Every Aries is sharing that in their solar chart. So if you're an Aries, that's what's going on for you. You've got to look at Jupiter and Uranus in your first. So you've got Jupiter and Uranus in your first, but then maybe you have a Cancer rising, okay? Which means that although you're an Aries and you're going through ego innovation, because you're a Cancer rising, that ego innovation is affecting you in your career. Because for Cancer risings, that Jupiter Uranus is in the house of career. Does that make sense? So the first thing I want to do is not get too complicated with looking at both of the two charts simultaneously. For this week, run a solar chart for yourself. If you're a Taurus, run today's planets and get put Taurus on the first line cusp. I usually screw around with the actual time on astro.com. I screw at the time so that Taurus is zero degrees rising or Gemini zero degrees rising. And take a look at where the planets are 
for your sun sign. And let's start some discussion here in our discussion group about what's going on. Of course, you can always watch the zodiac weather and my daily horoscopes because I base all my horoscopes on the solar chart, okay? This will give you a real idea of the drama going on and just let's look at where the planets are, okay? And let's do some comparison. If you've got, an, if you are an Aries, for instance, look at what's going on in the first house of Aries, Jupiter and Uranus, and then find out where Jupiter and Uranus is in your natal chart and start seeing how the change in one area is in fact also affecting the change in the second area. I hope I'm making sense. We're going to compare solar to natal and you're going to begin to see how astrology works universally along a certain vibration, Jupiter's and Uranus and Aries, but how in our own lives it can affect us in two areas. The solar, which is the drama of what we're living right now, so where is it playing out in the drama of right now, and then the natal. How does that drama play into the long-term story of our life? Okay, I think I'm giving you a lot here to bite off, but here's a couple of things I want you to definitely look at. Find out where Jupiter and Uranus are. Where is Jupiter and Uranus and Aries? Find out where Pluto and Capricorn is. That's a real heavy transit going on. And the third planet they'd like you to find out is where is Saturn in your solar when it comes to it moving out of Virgo and into Libra. Those are the three real hot spots, I think, with the big planets. Jupiter, Uranus, and Aries, Saturn moving into Libra, and of course, Pluto and Capricorn. Okay, that's all I have to introduce the solar chart to you. I will be back next week for more on transits and forecasting. Until next week, live, love, be.